Chemists at CU Boulder have achieved a major breakthrough in plastic recycling using electricity and chemical reaction. They're able to break down plastic bottles and packaging into their individual building blocks. And these can then be reused into new plastic products. Our Rob Harris got a firsthand demonstration on campus today. The United States goes through millions and millions of tons of plastic every year, and only about 5% of it actually ends up being recycled, according to Greenpeace. Some chemists here at CU Boulder learned that and were very troubled by it. So they spent the last six months using their talents and expertise to try to find a solution. And they've come across a major breakthrough using, of all things, electricity. When you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. When you're a chemist, everything looks like molecules. Chemistry professor Awana Luca and grad student Fook Pham see a crisis of plastic waste in our environment. So they put their expertise and lab to work and they found a solution in these reactors. So what we have here is an electrochemical reaction. It's just eating up the plastic, and at the end of the reaction, the plastic is gone, and it was decomposed into its molecular components. This presents a major breakthrough. Picture your plastic water bottle as being built out of Legos. What this process does, essentially, is take the Legos apart. So rather than being downcycled into a plastic bag, for example, they can instead be used again to build another bottle. It's good. I feel like this is um, an example of using molecular organic chemistry at the most basic of levels for good. Their current process works on what are called pet plastics, which are very common. Think bottles and containers and other clear, lightweight plastics. But there are many other types of plastics that need to be recycled better too. And that's where Luca and Fom have their sights set now. I am very interested in doing any kind of plastic recycling. I hope that we can uh, scale the ration up so one day it can be applied on industrial level. There are so many polymers and materials out there that people aren't recycling at all. They're not being collected. For Denver 7, this is the beginning of many, 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 many different kinds of chemistries. I'm Rob Harris. The researchers tell us they are going to keep fine tuning their process so it can be done at bigger scales. They also are hoping to join forces with other researchers and industry leaders to make sustainable recycling widespread.